Hey, good morning, everyone. Hope you're having a beautiful day out there. It's Justin here for Awakening Aesthetics, of course. And I just wanted to share with you a little bit of information on the art of surrendering and how to how surrendering is actually a strength and a positive aspect of your life. And if you do it right, you can end your suffering. So surrendering ends suffering. Um, and what I mean by surrendering is surrendering to the now, surrendering to the moment of your life so that your like if you have any unease or you're having resistance in your life, how you can surrender, you can surrender to the moment and surrender to that resistance. And some people might say, well, isn't surrendering weakness and no good because it implies that you're giving up or that you failed or that you've been defeated. Uh, that's not true at all. Because if you pay attention closely, that's a negative charge. It's a negative emotion and a negative outlook on surrendering. And that's what you gotta be careful with because you can negatively stay through resistance. So it's like saying that you're not happy, let's say that you're negatively angry about your situation and you're angry and you're working towards where you want to be because you're like, I'm not going to surrender, I'm going to resist and, uh, and be unconscious because when you resist, you become unconscious and you leave the being and the essence of who you really are and being in the now. So if you resist and you're like, oh, one day I'm going to change this and I'm, gonna, I'm just going to fight and I've done this in the past where I was like, I'm going to fight and fight and fight and fight with that negative charge and use anger and all this frustration to excel me forward so I can change that situation. And then, then I'll be happy or then I'll, I won't have to surrender because I won. And that's exactly what's wrong with the world and the mentality of that. And most people live their lives like that or like, it's like a, a good way to look at retiring. It's like, I gotta do the grudge work now, hate what I do all my life so that I can enjoy my life when I retire only to find out that once you get to that end of the road to retire you realize that you missed in your entire life and you were angry and you're most likely to be unhappy depressed and sick when you get to that age, that time of retirement because you were so focused on that destination so instead how to do this is to surrender to the moment of where you are now and be okay with everything that you're doing, be grateful, and still take positive action. So look at it like, I'm still gonna, I want this in my life, I want this in my life, I wanna go for all these things, I'm gonna continue to take action in those directions. So you continue to take action, but in a positive mindset, so that you stay conscious, and you stay awake, and happy, and you don't destroy the moment, because, ego the ego wants separation it wants to destroy everything and you'll be very judgmental and all these things and and compete so that's all the ego's sense of separateness right like it wants to be separate so it wants to separate you from the moment destroy everything that you have even if you did enjoy it you get it so point is to stay positive and use that positive energy to change where you want to be going, but still be surrendering in the now. Like, like I can share a story, a bit of my story, and how I surrendered and how it changed my life was there was a moment years ago where I was battling in court with my ex and and my son. She's over here in New Brunswick, and I was out in you know, out on the west. And I was like going my direction. I was like, oh, there's no way I would go to your direction. But anyway, through, you know, years of stress in court and all these, those issues, because I wasn't surrendering to the moment, I was resisting. I was not only burning myself out, angry, angry, separated, separated from my son, fighting with her, fighting with everything and everything, everybody going around. Well, it was only after a couple of years of doing that, that I learned that, holy man, like, I'm unconscious. I'm sitting here 
fighting for the very thing that that isn't going to work. Like it doesn't work like that. So through through it, doing it and doing it and learning about it and, and feeling those emotions, going through those <laughs> unconscious behaviors, I was like, I'm just going to move over there. Right when things got absolutely worse, where she was just, you know, everything was happening, where no one, you know, the resistance was heavy. The fighting was really crazy for me. My son, it was really hard for us to stay together in our lives. There was a lot of people trying to take us apart and all this stuff. But I didn't, I just kept persisting. And the way I won and the way how I changed everything and I changed my life around and my son and me and everything and including my ex and, and built the relationship to a better place was because I surrendered and I stopped going to the lawyers even and the courts and I just moved. I moved my life across the country and I was living the dream life out in British Columbia. I was on the water. I was just moving on with my life. I didn't want to like, you know, but I, I was tired and I was missing out on my son's life. So by fixing that and by resolving that, I'm really cool today, it's a little bit chilly. There's a wind right now and it's blowing around. But how I did was I moved, right? And then the surrender became a strength. And I didn't give up, like, Actually, by, by moving and surrendering, I learned that <laughs> that uh, I'm actually doing better and there's less resistance. So now there's no not much fighting. I'm with my son 50% of the time. I resolve those wounds. I'm able to deal with all the people that hated me and all this stuff. So all I did was, like it, at first, you know, they, it was a lot of more resistance, but like I said, then it forced them to surrender. By me surrendering, then they had to surrender because I'm just everywhere. I'm like right in everyone's faces and I'm doing the right thing for my son. So not only did that create a lot of happiness, but it created a lot of opportunity because then I got to, and then I found a place that I loved that I, for a price that I could pay for my own acreage. And I'm starting a Hunter Beach campground in the spring and I've already built it, <laughs> you know, like all these things are happening and, and, and if I want to generate millions of dollars and, and be financially free and travel the world and build all these great businesses and business, these companies that I have in mind that I personally love and want to build, well, now I'm going to do all those things. But if I didn't surrender and I stayed fighting and separate and going to lawyers and judges and courts and just trying to trying to just hammer the ego in harder on what she did because I was in pain well then I wouldn't get anything and I wouldn't have had this opportunity here now and I wouldn't have all the opportunities that are unfolding in front of me all over the place including my bodybuilding career and everything and and all these opportunities came with the act of surrendering but not only that I became conscious and regain my health, my vitality, my energy, and I'm able to feel better, move on, and live my life. Whereas the other road, I've even talked to people that we're going in similar situations. It's like something that ruins their entire life. And it's because they resist it and they don't surrender because they see it as a form of weakness. So surrendering is a strength. And, and, there's, and you look at it in a positive aspect and still work towards what you want and still go towards what you want, but you're using a positive energy rather than a negative one and resisting and holding on and fighting. You're actually enjoying your ride and you're not gonna get some disease or some illness because you sacrifice your entire soul and your energy because you're stuck in the ego. And by moving here and doing that, making that decision, I didn't have an ego at the time. Like I, I really put my ego aside when I made that decision. And when I came here, I had to, over the course of a couple of years, I had to face the death of my ego. I had to live in the now and learn how to get rid of that remaining part, that remaining ego that was holding me back. And it kept coming back up and I had a lot to learn. So I had a lot of self-development. So, so what my heart and my purpose wanted was me to come here. And then once I got here, it was amazing for a long time, but then my ego had a hard time and I went through a lot of resistance and a lot of, I failed in a lot of businesses 
and I failed in a lot of ideas about who I wanted, really wanted to become because I actually stepped back into my ego, which is very strange, but that's what happens when you kind of separate yourself from your family and your world. You kind of, sometimes you can get lost a little bit. So I hope this video helped you and uh, yeah, <laughs> surrender. I remember one last story before I go is when I, after I moved here, after I surrendered, oh, did it piss people off. But there was this one girl, she's like, oh, you're, you're the guy that surrendered. And she said it in like, from this ego place, like it's a bad thing. And I looked at her and I'm like, it looks like we're not gonna be friends. <laughs> Cause she seen me as some weak man. And like she knew what I'd been through in the last couple of years before I surrendered and all that resistance and all that, all that, the problem. And when I let go, I became free. And I became empowered, I regained my power, and I actually disempowered my enemies because they are all stuck in the ego. So I fixed it. And I have an insane amount of respect from everybody else, including the people that were my enemies, you get it? So they have no choice because of the surrendering act to surrender themselves. So yeah, have a beautiful day, guys. That's it. That's what it's all about. So cheers.